update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently we have quite a mixed bag out here. That mix goes like this. To the downside, it's the Dow off 84 points. The Russell is off basically one point. It's flat. The trannies are down 130. New York Stock Exchange is off a couple points. Semis are up 77 cents, so that's a flat market. 41 points for the NASDAQ, 100. That's about four tenths percent. Semis up over 1%, 28 bucks to the upside there. Gold's up 11 bucks after being down, geez, I don't remember, what it was 27, something like that. But it's up 11 bucks, trading at 1736. Silver's up 19 pennies, that's 1%. Trade out 1915. Light speed crude is flat at 95.90. Natural gas is not flat. It's up 60 cents, 58 cents to be exact, nearly 10%. The 30 year treasury's up 10 ticks she's trained at 139.22 let's take a look at our nine panel market update chart no yeah let's look at the nine panel market update chart here what we can see is the es mini in the upper left hand corner what price did was it pulled back to an area of support that area of support is its bullish structured profile levels and that's between the bottom and the center so that's between 36.89 and 37.40 price got down to 37.52 spot volatilics is below its 50-day exponential moving average as long as it remains below that that puts the wind at the sails of the back for the s p 500 27.60 is the number to jot down on your pad of paper if we take a look at the nq it's trading below the bottom of its daily and weekly profiles out there, um, but it is holding a trend line. We'll take a look at that when we do the uh, Trader's Edge show. The U.S. dollar index, which formed a TD9 count pattern two days ago on a Monday, uh, that level is held, 108.05. That suggests that price will pull back to its oscillator and change line. I don't recall off the top of my head where that's at, but certainly a move lower is likely. Gold shaking off the, uh, the, sh the shakedown. This morning, the question is, will it close back above the bottom of its daily profile? The bottom of its daily profile is 1736.90. We're at 1735.30. The case of silver, it has a TD9. Now, what gold might do today, it's got a bullish, bullish engulfing candle right now, might confirm to buy the D point, 1.618. Uh, a to B equals CD to the downside. So if, you, if it retains that bullish a reversal candle today, you've got a uh, bottom. It would be a better bottom price to get back inside that profile level. Silver has held its TD9 count level. That's at 1870. A natural uh, light still has a buy the deep pattern. Remains in effect unless price closed below 95. 10 natural gas wants to continue to move higher and straight above the top of its profile. In a 30 year treasury, we would love to make a run for the 140.206 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.